Jeffy football team continues to roll. Good morning, it's Wednesday, October 3rd. I'm Holly Spalding and you're watching the JHS Report. And the JHS Wooden Department installs a sign. Good morning, I'm Ashley Willerspoon. The JHS Welding Department was recently involved in a sign project for the Jeff High baseball field. JHS reporter Chris Kokersberger has his story. The JHS Vocational Welding Department does many jobs for the Greater Clark County Schools. The latest project was this sign for Don Poole Field. Let's talk to some of the participants who put, put the sign together. When did the school corporation come to you with the project? Uh, the first part of September of this year, this school year. How big of an honor is it to do this for the school? Well, it's, it's an honor, quite frankly, every time uh, the kids are allowed to work on things for the school. Um, it gets them out of the shop area and it, and it gives them a sense of purpose for taking a class when they can build a project and know, you know down the road that they had something to do with it in the design and, and the construction. We do many projects throughout the school year for the school system um, and it's really good educationally for the kids to take part in those so every project we do is an honor now I understand that Don Poole was a uh, very important head coach for the baseball team here at the school so this probably means a little bit more um, but all the projects we do for the school you know have their own uh, importance or serve their own important part for the education of my students why did Mr. Tungate pick you for the project? Because uh, I'm a second year student, student and uh, the other kids really haven't got the hands on like the second year students have yet. And what do you think of the project? I think it looks pretty good. I mean, we did a pretty good, I mean, we did a real good job on it. I mean, if anybody can look from the road or anywhere, it looks nice. I believe he picked me because I was a second year student and I have experience with welding on projects. What do you think of the project? I, I think that it was, you know, it was a good project and it's uh, awesome. <laughs> For the JHS Report, I'm Chris Kogersberger. The JHS football team is rolling with five victories this year. JHS reporter Mark Fidley has a mid-season update. With 20 returning starters from last year, the Jeff High football team has high expectations for this season. I'm going to interview some of the players and coaches on how they think they should turn out this year. What do you think is different from the team this year and last year? Uh, this year is a lot more intensity, a lot more togetherness. Other than that, just scoring a lot. I think we're a lot more stronger and a lot more explosive thanks to our uh, off-season weightlifting program. Um, we got better conditioning and we play as more as a team this year. Yeah, I think we're a lot more physical and a lot um, stronger. Do you think the team is better or worse than last year? The team's a lot better than last year. We got a lot more returning starters. And we've just been doing good. Yeah, better. like I said, we got better conditioning. We play more as a team, so it benefits the whole team. You have a lot of returning uh, starters coming back from last year. Do you think it's a great benefit for you all? It's always a great benefit to have a lot of returning starters. Yeah, I think it's always a great benefit to have a lot of returning starters. All of our, most of our players have been playing since we were sophomores. Like, yeah. More leadership on the team and helps the young kids, juniors and sophomores out. What are the team goals for the season? Uh, two goals. Number one goal is definitely win conference. Number two goal, win sectionals. Well, at the beginning of the season, we had three goals. One of our goals was to score 70 points in one game. Um, another was to win conference. And the last was to um, win sectionals. Win uh, conference, sectionals, hopefully regionals, and move on from that. Um, I hope we win a uh, conference in sectionals. How do you think you can benefit for helping the team win this goal? Uh, just doing a harder practice and giving it my all in games. I guess just be a senior and be a leader and keep everybody's head in the games and just play my hardest every game. Do what Ocho Cinco does, you know. Score touchdowns. Do what I do. Um, I think I should uh, work hard, run to the ball a lot more on uh, defense and uh, hopefully get a little bit on offense. Well, it looks like bright things to come for the Jeff High football team this season. For WJHS Report, I'm Mark Fridley. The University of Louisville is hosting a campus preview day on Saturday, November 3rd, 1 to 4 p.m. in the Student Activity Center. Juniors and seniors and their families are invited to attend. Pre-registration is not required. It is a great way to find all about attending the college at University of Louisville. Fall conditioning and open gym for boys interested in playing basketball this year continues. We will meet Monday through Thursday in the gym until 4.30 p.m. 
Official tryouts begin November 5th. Contact Coach Tim LaGrange in Room 101 if you have any questions. The National Honor Society's next meeting will be held this Thursday, October 4th, after school. The meeting will be held in Room 203. Do you have an announcement for the JHS report? We are happy to air your school announcement. There are two ways to do it. One, fill out the form located in the front office, or two, have a staff member email the announcement to Mr. Gross. Please submit those announcements at least three days in advance if possible. We will have the JHS weather forecast plus the latest Jeff High Sports after the break. Good morning, I'm Josh Dimbro with a look at today's JHS weather forecast. Today, a mix of clouds and sun during the morning will give way to, sunny, to cloudy skies in the, this afternoon. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. High around 85. Tonight, a few clouds this evening, but mainly clear overnight. Low around 65. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, hot, high of 92. And that's a look at JHS weather. Now here's a look at JHS Sports. Good morning, I'm Chris Zelli with today's JHS Sports. In Tuesday's semifinals of the IHSAA Silver Creek Regional Turn Tennis Tournament, Floyd Central earned a berth in the final with a 5-0 victory over Silver Creek, while the Red Devils beat New Albany 5-0. Winners and singles were Elliott, Chester, and Burke. Doubles winners were Cross and Burke, and also Button and Lewis. Jeff will try to put an end to the Highlanders' attempt to win their fourth consecutive regional title and their ninth in the last 10 years, today at 4.15 p.m. Jeff Wrestling Power Club meets each Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday after school until 4 p.m. Attend 20 sessions and get a free t-shirt. For more information, contact Coach Strzok. And that's all for Jeff Sports. Finally today, this is the last week to get your own DVD copy of this year's Powder Puff football game. Stop by WJHS Room 713. Cost is just $10. Now you're up to date with the latest Jeff High News. I'm Ashley Witherspoon. And I'm Lori Spalding. Have a great day and continue to do your part to make Jeffersonville High School a better school. And thank you for watching the JHS Report.